In this video, we will be demonstrating basic commissioning and troubleshooting for communications using the HMI on the front of the trip unit. In order to use the communication module, it is necessary to switch on the local bus. The local bus enables the communication between the trip unit and the modules. In the case where the local bus is disabled, the modules will blink in the way shown here. Before enabling the local bus from the HMI of the trip unit, you must also remember to be in local mode. To do so, start from the home page and select the main menu icon, then the settings icon, and choose modules, select local slash remote, and enter your password if necessary. Choose local mode and confirm your settings. In order to enable the local bus, follow the same menu path and select local bus and click on. Confirm your settings. Once you have enabled the local bus communication and the trip unit is in local mode, it is time to set the IP address. It is possible to choose between static or dynamic IP address. The dynamic IP address is automatically detected by the, by the system, while the static IP address is chosen by the user. In order to configure the static IP address from the front of the trip unit, use the main menu page. Select the settings icon. Choose Modules, Modbus TCP, Force Static IP Address. And once you have enabled Force Static IP Address, the Static IP Address and Static Network Mask fields will appear. You are now able to enter your predetermined IP address. Additional protocols such as Profibus or Profinet, this functionality must be completed from the master device, PLC, or SCADA systems. Now let's confirm your settings.